Hey, JP. What? I got the groceries. Oh, for the Taco Bell? Are yeah. you gonna make the core? Yeah. The cheesy core crunch? Are you excited? No. JP doesn't know this, but I knew that one of the ingredients was cheese sauce that has to go into the core. And then I have to hide this bottle so he doesn't see it. He's gonna come out here soon. I'm just gonna put it in something else. Oh, yep. <coughs> oh my god. He's gonna die. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna hide this in the back of the refrigerator. This should be enough, hopefully. All right, we just got back. First time ever bringing something into our test kitchen. That's right, from Taco Bell. From Taco Bell. We are very curious about this. Got our red strips. Those are for the recipe for later. Now, if you want to make it look like Taco Bell, you got to get the red strip. Oh, that's my battery. Cheesy core burrito. I love the branding on all of these things. This is way bigger and fatter than the Wap burrito. I like it. I like how it handles. There's a little baby one on the inside there. It's a baby burrito. Is that what this is? Yeah, so this isn't fried. Around it is the rice, the beef. And it looks like there's not a lot of beef at all. They didn't pound it in there and some type of sauce here. A taco sauce. I didn't wash my hands before I did this. So it looks like a little bit of cheese sauce, but mainly just Mexican cheese. There's a good amount of red strips too. This is what it looks like when you bite into it. It doesn't look pretty. It's a lot of dough. You wanna make it look pretty with me? Yeah, let's make it look pretty. High five. Move this prescribed stuff. <laughs> I look like a degenerate. That's for JP's ankle. <laughs> he hurt it. I hurt my <laughs> knee. <laughs> Where's your ring? I don't wear it because I'm not actually engaged. It's all a hoax. We aren't even dating. You're gonna confuse so many people. I have people. a boyfriend named Muley. <laughs> Always throw your pan before you cook, otherwise it's not gonna heat up. You have the light on, turn the heat on, get this pan nice and toasty. Put that in. Shouldn't it get hot first? Yes. Do you like this hair? Not really. What about these Moscow mules? The drink is called the Moscow mule, but all you gotta do to make a Moscow mule is fill your cup with ice, put in a shot of vodka, squeeze in half a lime, and then throw in some ginger beer. I like it. Yeah, it's good. They need to hear how, the, how good this is. Hot, so let's do it. Trick the cookie beef faster. Just take a giant peat stone, put it on top like that, and then you lift it off, and it's done. <laughs> Another disappointment on healthy junk food to all our fans out there, Uncle Ben. But it's easy. But if you guys find us a conflict of interest using fresh cilantro and a Uncle Ben <laughs> microwaved rice, please comment below. I know, you probably wish you had canned cilantro, right? Alright guys, I'm on my like third Moscow mule now. <laughs> Too many mules! Why do you have both of them? <laughs> so fresh and so clean, clean. Brush your shoulder off. Yo, holla at a bee. We're gonna put about two tablespoons here right in. Looks good, right? Good enough? Salt, pepper, garlic. So for the center core, we're going to trim off the top and bottom of the tortilla to reduce the amount of tortilla that's going inside the tortilla. Then just add in your cheese sauce, shredded cheese, and crunchy tortilla strips, which you can just use regular tortilla chips. And if you want the spicy version, replace the chips with jalapenos. That is literally the only difference between the two versions that Taco Bell carries. Once you roll it up, stop here, because we don't need additional tortilla. Just slice that off and make an even tinier one to go on the inside. Think about the idea behind this. Hey Bill, how expensive is a tortilla? Uh, they're, they're pretty cheap, why? Well, why don't we wrap a tortilla inside a tortilla with tortilla strips inside the tortilla? Oh yeah, that's genius. So I was so busy making fun of this thing, I forgot the hot sauce. Based on this picture, I believe it goes on after the meat, then comes the rice, sour cream, and then take your other burrito and place it on top. Fold in the sides and roll. 
Now when you cut this thing in half, there's no way you're going to get it to look like this picture. It's so misleading. So in this next step, we'll show you how you can be misleading as well. Oh wow, it looks so, well the other side doesn't look good. Guys, we just made the Crunch Cheesy Core Crunch Burrito. We made the Cheesy Core Crunch Burrito. Guys, I don't know what this thing's called. Obviously, when you make it at home, it's not gonna look like the picture. No. When you first cut through it, this is reality. The fact of the matter is, it's easy to make and you'll be able to make it too. Especially if you're on a high carb diet, you should eat this. I just figured it out. You know what they should stuff in the middle? What? Mashed potatoes. So then you got carb, carb on, on carb, carb on carb. carb. On oh, carb. on carb. Cheers to that. And then you wrap it in a giant um, lasagna noodle. And then you put it on a sandwich with spaghetti. I really do think in the future, these should be made with taquitos. Taquitos. Taquito. It's pronounced Fugo. How do you say Diablo then? Diablo. If you're interested in getting these Moscow mules, we are gonna be doing a giveaway, but only for Patreons. And if you're not on our Patreon and you do want these glasses, there's a 15% discount link below. They retain the cold very well and the handle's very sturdy. One bite. For the health of it. The burrito is really spicy. Did you put taco sauce in it? No, I didn't put any taco sauce. Eat, eat more of it. You're, you must have like a weird effect. Maybe it's a Moscow mule. Get that cheesy core. Because that's got to cool it down, you know? Yeah. All there is is nacho cheese and, and uh, Mexican cheese mix in there. Right? It's hot. It's hot. You can't leave. Where are you going? Oh. What did you mix in the meat? Oh. Did you mess with me? No. Is it the cheese? What do you mean? Where'd you get that cheese? What do you mean? It's the Taco Bell cheese. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's I hot didn't... ghost pepper nacho cheese sauce. I didn't do that. Scary hot. You want to put some Diablo sauce on it? <laughs> How could I not do that? How could I not? So JP's in the bathroom now, and he's probably having burning hot. This is JP now. Hi JP, how are you? I'm doing good, I'm a poop emoji. Oh I know, you're great. Thank you, thank you very much. I'm just hanging out on the internet, trying to make people smile once in a while and also infer that people are shitting themselves. Oh wow, that's great, glad to hear it, all right. Okay, now get off of my channel. 